I'm not addressing you for free. Mm -mm, that's what we not going to. Listen up, y'all. I got a story to tell. <laughs> it's not even worth my time, but we're going to do it. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vidane. I know you guys probably missed me. I've been gone a while, but I'm back. So yeah, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Feel free to join us in my little corner of the internet by subscribing down below and hitting that notification bell so that you're notified whenever your girl decides to upload. Okay, so yeah, um, we are gathered here today because the girls was calling for me. So, you know, I, you guys know, but they ain't gonna call and I'm not just gonna not answer. So I have a story time for you guys today. We are gonna do a story time and then we gonna address some stuff. Even though it's way beneath me and the person doing all the talking, 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 talking is also way beneath me, but it's entertaining for I and entertaining for y'all. So like I said, we're gonna do the story time, address some things, and then I have a little announcement, okay? So let's get right into it without further ado. Let's start off with this quick little story time, why don't we? So if you see me like looking off, I'm literally looking at myself because I look good. Don't I look good? I haven't done my makeup in like forever since the baby shower and I only kind of did my makeup because I was late and I was rushing. But yeah. Anyway, on to the story time. So apparently when I visited back home last month, what we in? What is today? March 17th, when was I home? Earlier this month. So I was home from March 1st to the 6th. That's when I visited my beautiful home of the Virgin Islands, okay? And most of the drama popped off then, but let me start off from the beginning. So I was introduced to my boyfriend by my good friend, Shafana. See? She was like, oh, he's interested. You should give him a chance. And then I was kind of on the fence about it because you guys will see soon. He is associated with some people that I was just like, mm, mm, I don't know about all of that. But my friend Shafana, my mom, and all my other friends were like, girl, if he makes you happy and if you're happy with him, then stick beside him. So that's what I did. I take thought about my happiness, just like how everybody else would think about their happiness, right? Right. So we were on in this relationship. He asked me to be his girlfriend in like October, cause I met him in September and I was in Las Vegas. We used to talk all the time on it. Well, we still do talk every day all the time on the phone 24 7 like we will go to sleep on the phone wake up on the phone type of thing and then he asked me to be his girlfriend i didn't answer him right away like <laughs> he would ask and then i would like change the topic and then finally like at that because i had that little dilemma going on within myself i was like should i should i not i don't know mm, this gonna cause drama i could see it down the road like i had my raven tunnel vision like 2020 vision on I was like this is gonna be a mess going down the road but he makes me happy so we're gonna do what I do my mother was like he makes you happy so do what I do best friends he make you happy so do what I do so at the end of the week I was like yeah I'll be your girlfriend let's 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 just do this and this is in like October so then fast forward we went out when he came so he came here in November and then he came December the end of December so Christmas time the week of Christmas and then the week of New Year's that's the two weeks I had off from work so he came and he visited then New Year's Eve we went to rum jungle which is like a popular Caribbean Virgin Islands ish club like it plays Virgin Islands music they play Caribbean music so I was like perfect we could go there we could hang out but I know I know I'm gonna run into some VIP people there and at this point we weren't 
I didn't publicize who I was in a relationship with, just the fact that I was, a, I was in a relationship, right? So while we were there, some people from back home, they came in also. And ironically, they came all the way back to the back bar because there are three bars inside Rum Jungle, one on each side, one to the back. And there was empty. You could have gone anywhere else. And I was like, why did they come to the back bar? Because we were to the bar to the back of the club. I was like, why did they come all the way back here? They could go anywhere else. Why did they come back here? So from the time I saw who those people were, I was like, yeah, this is going to get messy. And basically the whole of the island going to know who I'm with because of who these people were that came in. So fast forward now, um, I had these people stalking, stalking my Instagram page. So the first way I realized like, okay, they're being weird. They're being creepy. They're being like stalker weird is because I saw a specific name in my views and I was like, that's strange. So then <laughs> I was like, yeah, these people are watching me. So I posted a song to a video that I had like filmed on my phone. Probably when I was filming a video, I usually do like little snaps and stuff. But over that video, I put the song, Oh Gosh by Money. I put the last couple lyrics, lines in the song where she's like, keep stalking my page. I hope you find what you've been looking for. So... <laughs> Those are the ones, and I put them there because I hope I have a while of Because at this point, y'all being weird. And then, fast forward, I just forget that whole thing. They in my views almost every time. Every time I post my boyfriend hand, I would see this person in my views, and then the other person in my views as well. When I post normal stuff of myself, the one person would be my views, the other person would not be my views. So I was like, okay, they have a discussion. Like every time I post him, she telling her friend, oh look, she posted, or something like that. So I was like, that's weird. That's very weird. So I was like, yeah, something I come about of this, and Let's just wait to see why it is because the girls like to tussle me too, okay? So fast forward to when I went back home. Well, we fast forward in a story. We went in real life. When I went back home for my best friend's baby shower, you guys would have seen the vlog. I didn't really do much vlogging because your girl just slept. And I really took that time to relax and like have it as an actual vacation. So one day, what day was it? I tell y'all, I have all the receipts. I have every liquor receipt in here. All right, look what they here. Saturday, March 4th at 9.36 a.m. My mom messaged me. She said, yo, now I sleeping. Cause what else I supposed to be doing on a Saturday morning? Except sleeping. Getting my little beauty sleep i was sleeping so she called me and she was like i messaged you something check it out so in this message oh we have to give the two people the names because i just been calling pausing and pausing but we on call one petunia lovely petunia right here and then we're gonna call the other one goofy because yeah anyway so now I sleeping. Wipe the yampy on my eye. <laughs> my mother called me. Wipe the yampy on my eye. At 9.36 a.m. The screenshot she sent me was sent it at 9.41 a.m. And she was like, she received this screenshot from my aunt. And I was like, what screenshot you get from my aunt? So Miss Petunia felt it um obligated about herself. I mean, she wake up with this on her chest. Because the screenshot is dated and timed the 4th of March 2023 at 8.12 a.m. So this ride mama chest all night. All night, you know. All night. She said, Miss Petunia, and I quote, This hoe think I going to unfollow her because she win my BD and she thinks it's automatic beef now. Have a seat, please. Right? And then her little crony goofy gonna say or a few dot 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 giving real fan behavior right 
And then Petunia come back and responded, correct. Like who trying to keep up with dumb and dumber? I see this, I say, mommy was shit, you show me hair today. And I start a kiki keying, okay? Me and my mother was having a time on the phone because what? This come out of left feet, like where the moon is. And ironically, the moon was turning into full moon. That's when the crazy people them to come out. So I guess it right her spirit because the moon was coming out. So that's that. I sent that to my boyfriend. He had stuff to say, of course. But I was just like, okay, cool. Ignore them, right? Ignored the shit out of them. Ain't had nothing to say. Me had nothing to say. Because she obviously want my attention. She obviously looking for attention. And I was feeling at the moment like, you ain't address me. You, as you say, you not unfollowing me from any social media. So you have me on everything. You never DM me once. You never message me once. So I'm like, she, she, she obviously just want to air out her mouth, right? She obviously just wants to say something. And this is not even me addressing it. I can address it soon. This is just me telling the story. Anyway, I move on with my life. Continue doing my different stuff. I went bananas with my boyfriend on the Sunday. We went to the beach. All that good stuff. Posted all that stuff. Yada, yada, yada. So I was supposed to go home on a Monday, but on Monday was a holiday back home. So I was like, let me just stay the extra day. And my boyfriend was off too. So let me just stay the extra day, spend the time with him. So I didn't end up going home until the Tuesday. So the Monday at 11.39 a.m., like I said, things were just right in mama's chest. And like, I feel like because I was there, it was bothering her even more. I don't know. But I never say nothing to the whole whole situation. Nah, 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 I ignore it. Right? Right. Then on Monday morning at 11.39, it's like these things will be marinating in her brain overnight. Like, <sighs> anyway, why am I that much on your brain? I don't know. She said, imagine two cousins with the same BD. Wild. Right? And then she proceeded to go on a little rant, Miss Petunia, because I replied and I said, well, I didn't reply to her. I said on my Twitter, one thing I don't look is family, because now people sending me the screenshot. So people seeing it, right? So I just like, okay. I was like, one thing I don't look is family. That is not my cousin. So stop sending me them screenshots. I don't know who they're talking about. It ain't me be easy though that is what i said and then i followed up that tweet with her sister is my cousin she is not so do with that information what you may and it seems like that's in miss mama's on a frenzy because she had a whole heap of tweets to say but then i was like anyway i'm done if you have something to say to me you following me on all my social media platforms and my DMs are not locked. And that's what I said. So then, like I said, Miss Mamas went on a rant. Because I said you and my family. She was like, you right. Or she right. Real family wouldn't do some shit like that. And then she was like, y'all, my son is seven months. Let's do the math here. Who's really looking dumb? Oh, then she said, y'all sending her my tweets, good. It's only so long you can sit and take BS. Then she said, one thing they can never say is I'm a bad mother. Then she said, you ain't been there for the first eight months of his life, but you having another. Wow, that's crazy to me. And then I guess one of her friends to the first, to the tweet that she said, you ain't been there for the first eight months. One of her friends or somebody following her was like situations like this. I really blame the woman because it's because clearly he ain't been there for the first. Then chances of him sticking around will be very slim. And then to that, she responded exactly. But homegirl thinks otherwise shrugs. And then she said to each his own. And then lastly, well, this is the last one that I got. She said it's given brainwashed, right? Right. And also to the 
Anyway, I done tweet that I said, Goofy decided to come up under there and be like, but I could have sworn you was following her at one point and her child's page that's clearly run by her. Let's tell the full story here, Miss Ma'am. Which I responded to because I don't know Goofy from nowhere. I don't know Goofy from nowhere. So why am I explaining myself to a stranger? So my kind response was, and you are? Because I have no idea who you are. I don't know you from Adam. So why are you talking to me? Anyway, then that was that. That simmered down. Of course, she's still throwing her little shots hand there. I, and I throw them back. I post on Instagram, but she throw her little shots. I'm pretty sure. Not even sure because I don't follow her anything like I said. But yeah. That was the story. That's the story. But now we get into where I address these tweets because your girl got some things to say. So let's say them, huh? Stay tuned. All right. So we gonna start off at the beginning, right? The first, I'm gonna put the tweet right here too. The first tweet said, like I read before, this hoe thinks I go and unfollow her because she win my BD and she thinks it's automatic beef now. Have a seat, please. First of all, Petunia <laughs> calling me a hoe is quite <laughs> hilarious. When, mm, which one of us went viral back home for not knowing who their baby daddy was? Isn't that the reason why you guys broke up while you was pregnant in the first place, Miss Mamas? But I'm the hoe. <clears throat> when I read that whole part, I was like, I know that ain't who I think it is. I know, I know that, that ain't who I, who I think it is. Calling me a hoe. Me. Mm. Mm. Anyway, she's saying, because she's with my BD and she thinks it's automatic beef now. What beef? You could go through my texts, my tweets, my calls. Well, if my calls were recorded, I never talk about the girl a day in my life. My boyfriend would be like, oh, she giving me a hard time with this, with that, with that, with that. And I just like, oh, that's crazy. Literally, you can walk up to here and ask you like, Brianna, ever say anything about this girl? No, she would always respond, oh, that's crazy, because what I have going on is not my business. I feel that since she know that I'm with her BD now, or that's my boyfriend, she feel that everything I post is towards her. But if you look back in all my tweets, I've been tweeting about crazy baby mothers because my relatives have some crazy baby mothers. And anybody who know my relative situation know that they have some crazy baby mothers. So I always tweet about crazy baby mothers. So I feel like since she feel that I with her baby daddy now, she feel that like I be bashing her on the internet. Girl, I don't have you to study. <laughs> Like literally, this stuff come out of left field because I was like, who is what going on? What really, when in a day I ever talk about this girl for it to be beef? Anyway, have a seat please. That's how that tweet ended. And then Goofy was like, or a few given real fan behavior. Now that made me chuckle because as you can see by exhibit A of the screenshots on my Instagram stories on January 8th, this is a few days after my boyfriend and I went to Rum Jungle. January 8th, you listening to me? From January 8th, they've been stalking me. January 8th, I went into my views because I did a thing where my mom and I went to Menchie's and we chairs on Menchie's cup. So I guess she see two hands in the picture. She figured one of them will help my boyfriend. It wasn't, it was my mother, but moving right along, she said, I'm the real fan, right? So if I'm the real fan, why on January 8th, it has your baby's page in my Instagram views. It says, welcome to insert baby's name world right here. 
but I'm the fan. I don't even know you. <laughs> I don't even know you. The strange thing is, if she had viewed me, if Goofy had viewed me from her actual page, like her own page, I would think nothing of it because my Instagram is open. My Instagram is open for anybody to view. I have nothing to hide. If you want to go now and look at my Instagram stories, you can. It's open. Follow me there. Anyway, if she had viewed it from my own thing, I'd be like, mm, another one of them sex bots watching my thing because y'all know... <laughs> Instagram be having the sex bots on your um viewing your stuff. But yeah, when I saw the welcome to insert baby's name world, I was like, that's suspicious. So then I click because I follow the dad. So I'm like, why is for the baby's page? I was like, so why he watched my page off of his page and then watch my page off of the child page? Because now I don't know the mother from Adam. So I think in maybe it's the dad. So I went on the page and then I saw ran by Goofy. And I was like, that's suspicious. So then me being me, I went on Twitter, insert tweet here. And I said, watching my page from a baby page is very weird. Not gonna lie. That's all I say. That's all I say. I ain't cuss nobody out. I ain't say nothing. And then Petunia saw it. And I guess she wanted me to see that she saw it. So then she liked it. And I was like, Okay, weird, moving right along. That's how I associated the two together. Cause I was like, why is she liking this? She probably know that the girl watched my page from a baby page, that's probably one of her friends. That's how I put two or two together. Because as I said, I don't know this girl from nowhere. No, I don't know Goofy from nowhere. I know the baby because the baby, like I said, that I know the dad because he brings his son to my little cousin's birthday parties. That's how I know that. That's how I know the baby. I don't know the mama. I know the dad. I, that was weird. Anyway, so that's when it all started, I guess. And that's when she started to think I'm throwing shots at her. Anyway, moving right along. Yeah. Real fan behavior, but you be watching me from your baby page. <laughs> and then continue to watch me from your own page after I address the whole baby thing. Weird. And then the next tweet, I let's pull back up the tweet here, class. And then read the last tweet at the bottom. Says, correct. Like who's trying to keep up with dumb and dumber. This one made me kiki because one you stalking me you watching all my stuff obviously you trying to keep up with me but to call me and my boyfriend dumb and dumber like to call me dumb or dumber i don't know which one she associated with me but to call me 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 come on let's be for real if you're gonna be anything in this world when talking about me be for real please because i am First of all, let's start at the beginning. I graduated with honors from high school, college, community college, university. I have numerous certifications under this little belt of mine. And I am currently, for the second year in a row, one of the top analysts at one of the largest firms in the world for accounting, auditing, professional services. And I'm the dumb one. What have you done, Mr. Mamas? Let me know. Let me know your academic achievements. Have you finished college? Hmm. Hmm. The one who barely scraped through high school. Hmm. Calling me. <laughs> me. Dumb. I see you. I see you. <laughs> anyway. Moving right along to the other tweets when Miss Mamas got up in arms. I think, I think me posting me smoothing down. Like I posted a video of me rubbing the side on my boyfriend's head on Instagram. And I think that's what set her off this day. But who knows? Crazy people do crazy things. Anyway, she said, I have the screenshots in a um, folder called her obsession. Because she obviously obsessed with me, right? Okay, where she said, imagine two cousins with the same BD, wild. 
I addressed this before. This is my last time addressing this. I don't know what it will take to get it through her skull, Miss Petunia. But I am not your cousin, okay? I'm not your cousin. And my cousin is a good man, Savannah. So I ain't gonna drag him into this. But I'm not your cousin. Your sister is my cousin. I said this before and I'll say this again. You are not my cousin. And even if you were, right? Hypothetically speaking, you my cousin. Why would you want the world to know that you and your cousin have the same baby daddy or whatever? Share the same BD. Explain to me why you want the world to know that. Are you not embarrassed? Have you no shame? Like me being the person of decorum I am, I ain't going out broadcasting to the world that me and my cousin share the same baby daddy. Like that's not like sense to y'all. That's not like somebody who had good. Let me know. I could be wrong. Let me know. But yeah. That's that tweet. That's all I have to say on that. You know, my cousin, stop saying that weird stuff. That's really weird that you would want to have the same BD as your cousin. Stop. Nip that in the bud, please. Okay. Then her rants. Let's see. When I said she write real fam, when I said she not my cousin, she was like, she write real family wouldn't do some shit like that. Baby girl, Miss Petunia. You're not my real cousin, you're not my real family, you're not my fake family, you're not my adoptive family, you're not no family. We are no of no relation. Okay, how much times I have to say that? We are not related. No, the funny thing is, I went straight to my father's side of the family because that would be the side of the family she related to me on. And I did my research. I asked multiple people, the people who have the last name that she carrying around. And I was like, that's her cousin. And they're all like, no! So, who gonna tell her? I mean, I think I just did, but I told her before and she seemed to be holding on to that. Who gonna tell her? Anyway, then she said, y'all, my son is seven months. Let's do the math here. Who really looking dumb here? Oh, looking dumb for what? Looking dumb for what? You and my current boyfriend broke up before the child was even born. So, what are you saying? What is your point? And y'all broke up, not because y'all went y'all separate ways amicably. Amicably. Y'all broke up because he saw you telling somebody else that the baby was his. So, do with that information what you mean. Then she was like, y'all sending her my tweets. Good. It's only so long you can sit and take BS. Please explain to me what BS you've been taking. Because I promise y'all I have not been studying this girl. I promise y'all she wasn't even on my radar. It was so funny, right? That when I send my friend the whole, this whole tweet, they were like, she can't, your boyfriend have another girlfriend because she can't be talking about you because where this come from? Like, <laughs> Who is she? What's she? What's her relevance? Like, I don't talk about this girl. I don't tweet about this girl. I don't IG about this girl. Nothing. I don't have anything to say about Miss Petunia. But she tired of me. Obviously, I don't know. She tired of me. And only so long she could take my BS. I don't know what BS she talk about, but only so long she could take it. She can't take it anymore. So she exploded. And then she say, one thing they will never say is I'm a bad mother. First of all, nobody ever say you're a bad mother. But I feel like it resting on your conscience. I feel like it resting on your conscience because me one never say nothing about your parenting. I don't know anything about your parenting. Well, I know some things about your parenting, but I never say you're a bad mother. So that must be on your conscience. And all of this tie into you ain't been there for the kid for the first eight months of your life, his life, but you having another. Wow, that's crazy to me. He hasn't been there. 
because you wouldn't allow him to be there. And I will insert the numerous screenshots that I have of him begging to be in his child's life and you either giving him the runaround when he's asking to meet the child here and there, you giving him the runaround or oh, you already home and you know that he can't come to your house because your mom don't like him and don't want him there. And then he asking if he could see the child at daycare. You say you don't want anybody in your business, but you feel the need to put my business on the internet. So they're in your business now, Miss Mamas. You mess with the right one. But yeah, he want to visit the kid at the daycare. Um, you don't want him to do that. For months, he's been asking what the child need. You like nothing from you. He bought milk for the child. You told him he wanted to be in thing buying milk. Um, what else? And I wasn't getting involved because it's not my business. This is between him and her. But she obviously wanted me involved because she bring me in it. So, I'm here. So, let's see. Let me go back to my boyfriend chat where he put in, where he sent me the screenshots. But you would see them. He would send her money via ATH or via his mom. She would send it back. All of this has been going on for all the months in this kid's life that she been saying he hasn't been there for. And the latest one, she's like, don't message me. He's asking about the child and then telling people to remove picture of her child from an internet, which is fair. That's her child. But it's his child too, so I don't understand. Anyway. And then the last one, I think my boyfriend sent me this one today. Today. He was like, how is inserts child's name? She's like, he's fine. Full stop. He said, okay. Then she proceeded and said, you don't have to message me every other day to ask how insert child's name is. If something is wrong with him, I would probably let you know. He's good. I take good care of him myself. And he says, well, I can't see him every day. So it takes nothing out of me to ask how he's doing. And she said, I'd rather not hear from you every day. And he said, okay. So that, that, that sounds like somebody who's trying and being forced out of his child's life. Anyway, that's all I have to say on their situation. That's their stuff. Like I said, I'm here to talk about the stuff she had to say about me. Oh yeah, that addresses the thing. Like, and I, like I said before, I never call you a bad mother, but what I'm going to say is a good parent never keeps their child away from their other parent. That's all I have to say on that. And then, to like I said before, to the, you ain't been in the kid's life for the first eight months, the some girl, I guess her friend or somebody that following her situation was like this. I'll blame the woman because clearly he ain't been there for the first. Chances of him sticking around would be very slim. As you guys can see from what I told you before, he's trying to be in this child's life. Trying. And they are actively working against him. Actively. She literally told him some day ago, like probably two weeks ago, that she wants the child to have nothing to do with him. He's been trying, okay? And then she was like, exactly, but homegirl thinks otherwise. She said it's giving brainwash. Mm, I would say more stigmatized <laughs> if I was to choose because my brain is fine. Somewhere else is attached, okay? <laughs> But yeah, I would not say I am brainwashed at all because given all that I told you guys, I'm not the one that's brainwashed. Somebody else is brainwashed. It ain't me. Y'all, this video is so long. But I think I'm to the end of my little addressing things. So all I have to say is the next time you have something to say to me, I will be back to address it. And the reason I address things on YouTube is because I get paid or have the potential to get paid here. I'm not addressing you for free. Mm -mm, that's what we're not going to do. So, yeah. If you have something else to say, you can say it to me in my DMs or you can meet me on the street. Either one is fine because your girl likes a good tussle. Anyway. <laughs> 
I hope you guys enjoyed my little address. Oh, I was also told by multiple people, don't do this video, she's beneath you, don't study her, huh? let peasants lie. I know, I know all of that, but this is fun for me. Like, this is entertaining, kind of like therapy, you know? But yeah, and then the, uh, the other thing I was told is that, oh, that people do voodoo, you have to watch yourself. First of all, I am highly covered by the blood. I don't believe in that voodoo nonsense. All my family members, my great aunts, they are major prayer warriors so get the behind me with that voodoo talk okay and then the last thing i was told is that they like to fight so if i come up with a video i need to watch myself i like to fight too <laughs> <laughs> the gag is i like to fight too with that being said oh and if anybody hit me first I just let you know and I the only way we fight in is that if you hit me first I will not only tussle with you on the streets because you hit me and I'm just defending myself best believe we go to court and I will finance my luxurious future with everything you own don't blame me I grew up in the courthouse I could get a good lawyer in point three seconds. So, do that information what you may. Anyway, time for my announcement. Enough of giving those useless people any more of my time. Was useless the right word? No. What's the right word? Enough of giving those irrelevant people. Yeah. Any more of my time. Like she said... She thought she outed me to the world, outed my pregnancy or whatever. But the people who's supposed to know already know. My mom knows, my dad knows, my brother knows, my cousins who matter and my cousins who are actually my cousins know. My aunts know, uncles, great aunts, great uncles, grandparents. They all know. But yeah, I'm coming to you guys to let you know that I am expecting um the reason why i haven't said anything previously other than oh i've been feeling sick is that i was still in my first trimester and you know anything could happen in a first trimester you could wake up one day and boom no baby so i wanted to make sure my doctor cleared everything um i'm safely now in my second trimester that's why i have this cold and i can't get over it because i can't take anything for it i just gotta thug it out but yeah, my boyfriend and I are expecting, so look out for that kind of content as well as normal content because now that the cat's out of the bag, I guess, I mean, the cat wasn't really in the bag. If you look at me, if you can see me, you guys saw that throughout this time period, I was gaining weight in like my face, stuff like that. That's because your girl bun is in the little oven. So yeah. Um... I'm excited. We're both very excited. He has been so supportive. Like he's been up here every month. <laughs> but yeah, we are happy. He's been so supportive. Like I couldn't do this without him. Like I promise you. And my mom too. She's been really supportive. My brother, my cousin, everyone in this household has been really supporting me. I am really happy. You guys see your girl is glowing. She getting fat around the face, but it's glowing still, you know? But anyway, that is my announcement. So, she thought she did something by telling people I'm pregnant. But if you see me, I look pregnant. <laughs> or just fat and... I go to the gym all the time so they ain't just fat but yeah anyway oh also going back a little bit his little friend that he, he, he told that we were expecting that went to tell her I want to beat his ass too I want to fight him too and he, my boyfriend was like oh he's like six feet da 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 pounds I don't care <laughs> I don't care I have draped up bigger okay I don't care anyway I hope you guys enjoy this video my little story time my little address and then my little announcement I'll make sure to put time cards down below so that you guys can click around and see what you want to see hear what you want to hear anyway I hope you guys enjoy the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel oh thank you for the 600
<laughs> I know you guys got me through 600 because you wanted this story, but we're currently at like 603. Thank you so much. Anyway, like I said, I was saying, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a family member to join us and they can do so by doing all the things that I said previously. Also, if you want to follow me, your girl Brie, on all the socials, all that will be down below in the description box for your easy convenience. Now this bad beach, gotta go. And I hope you're having a great day, a great night, a great week whenever you're watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Toodaloo!